Hi friends, in this video, we will see the security settings in Servum UCS. Matrix Servum UCS is an enterprise grade unified communication solution that offers collaboration, communication, messaging, and mobility. Matrix Servum brings diverse users from multiple locations to a common platform for real time collaboration and communication. The users have options of using either Matrix Perch desk phones or Matrix Verta applications on their smartphones or tablets, Android or iOS of their choice. With universal connectivity and advanced call management, Matrix Servum UCS improves an organization's agility and productivity. Servum UCS is provided with security settings which prevents the system from unauthorized access. Let us see the various security settings available in Servum UCS. Login into GUI as System Engineer. Go to security settings. Under security settings on WAN, one can find the access permission for FTP server, Telnet server, web server, auto configuration of third party sub phones, SIP extensions registration. Let us see them one by one. FTP or file transfer protocol is used for maintenance procedure of Servum UCS such as firmware management, configuration, backup and restore etc. The access rights can be decided by three given options that is don't allow, all IP addresses, only trusted IP addresses. Don't allow option blocks FTP server access from all the IP addresses. All IP addresses option allows FTP server access from all the IP addresses. Only trusted IP addresses option allows FTP server access from the IP addresses or subnets mentioned in the trusted IP address table. There will be two tables available namely trusted IPv4 IP addresses and trusted IPv6 IP addresses. Mention the trusted IP addresses and subnets in the respective tables and allow FTP server access against them. If any IP address sends request to access FTP with invalid credentials for more than 5 times within 10 minutes, it will be blocked for 10 minutes. Similarly, Telnet server access rights can be configured as well. Telnet server is used for advanced troubleshooting by Matrix technical support team. Select the access rights for Telnet server from either of the three. Don't allow all IP addresses and only trusted IP addresses. If only trusted IP addresses are selected, mention the trusted IP addresses and subnets in the respective tables and allow Telnet server access against them. If any IP address sends request to access Telnet with invalid credentials, for more than 5 times within 10 minutes, it will be blocked for 10 minutes. Let us see the web server access rights now. Web server or web GUI is used for configuring Servum UCS through a web browser. 
Select the access rights for web server from either of the three. Don't allow all IP addresses and only trusted IP addresses. If only trusted IP addresses is selected, mention the trusted IP addresses and subnets in the respective tables and allow web server access against them. If any IP address sends a request to access web server with invalid credentials for more than 5 times within 10 minutes, it will be blocked for 10 minutes. Let us see the access rights of auto configuration of third party SIP phones. Servum UCS supports auto configuration of third party SIP phones. Auto configuration request from phones will reflect in the device management page of Servum UCS. The phones can be assigned with SIP accounts of Servum UCS from the device management page only. Select the access rights for auto configuration of third party SIP phones from either of the three. Don't allow all IP addresses and only trusted IP addresses. If only trusted IP addresses is selected, mention the trusted IP addresses and subnets in the respective tables and allow auto configuration of third party SIP phones access against them. If any third party SIP phone sends request for auto configuration with invalid credentials for more than 5 times within 10 minutes, it will be blocked for 10 minutes. Next, we will see the security for SIP extension registration. If you want to allow SIP phones to register with Servum UCS, enable allow SIP extension registration. If any SIP phone sends registration request with invalid credential for more than 10 times consecutively from same IP address and port, it will be blacklisted permanently. System engineer can remove such IP addresses and port from blacklist IP address SIP extensions table manually. There will be two options for IP addresses to be considered for blacklisting after sending 10 invalid requests namely all IP addresses and accept trusted IP addresses. You can select these two options in blacklist SIP extension IP address colon port on multiple authentication failure attempts field. If all IP addresses is selected, Servum UCS will blacklist any IP address sending invalid request for 10 consecutive times. If accept trusted IP addresses is selected, Servum UCS will blacklist IP address sending invalid request for 10 consecutive times other than the ones mentioned in trusted IP addresses table with blacklist SIP extension IP address call and port except applied against them. We hope security settings in Servum UCS is clear now. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries and support, contact Metris Technical Support Team. For more videos, go to our YouTube channel Metrics Comsec.